If I didn't have this ice cream, my brain would have boiled over. And it's only April. We're going to have a sweltering summer. Oh, Margaret, it's so dreadfully hot. We simply cannot perform a play in this heat without air conditioning in the theater. But, Penelope, uh, the air conditioning units haven't worked for years. I don't know if I can get new ones installed before the opening tonight. Without it, we will melt and the show will be a disaster. Get it done. Really, I have so much to do and so little time. Penelope sure seems stressed. I'm stressed too. I'm out of ice cream money. I thought it would be cooler here in the park, but it's still hot. At least Fang's cool. Yay! Look! A snake! It's a garter snake? It's harmless. I did a science project on them. Harmless or not, it's wriggly and probably slimy. Oh, and there's another one! And another. And another. I think I'll get out of here. Fast! It's strange seeing all those snakes because it's way too early for them to leave their hibernaculum. Their what? Their hibernaculum is their den, and they usually don't come out of it this early in the spring. I wanted the part of Medusa in the play, but Penelope gave that to herself. And instead, I'm Penelope's assistant. She's completely possessed by the play. It's driving me crazy. I'll talk to you later. Right now, I have to go make sure the new air conditioning units are installed. Doesn't sound like Penelope is much fun to work with. My mother says she's the nicest hairstylist in town. Maybe Margaret's right then, that something about this play is possessing her. Ew! Look at this! Cool! Produced, directed, and starring the fabulous and amazing Penelope Price. I bet she wrote up the posters too. I feel much better now that my hair's done. Do you like my Medusa look? My hair's like snakes. <laughs> yes, it's... Um... Now remember, Margaret, be sure to give the local newspaper the best seats in the house. I will, Penelope. I won't forget. And Margaret, dear, don't forget to get the theater programs ready. You bet, Penelope. Um, I'll take care of it. I am Medusa. Are you kids going to the play tonight? Uh, no. We have homework. We sure are. We love plays. Great! Bring your parents! I don't want to go to that creepy play. I don't think we have any choice. There's something fishy, uh, snaky going on. Well, you're right, Charlie. They are garter snakes. And they are harmless. Told ya. And the way to transport them is to pick them up carefully with sticks and put them in a grass-filled box with air holes. And why do we have to know all this? I think these snakes have something to do with the Medusa play. But we're not going to go around picking up snakes, are we? Well, we're definitely going to do a little investigating at the rehearsal. But we do have two hours until then. We can start by picking up the ones near your house. Okay, but I'm not touching any. I can't believe you found five snakes in my yard. And now, already three in Mona's yard. Later, we'll bring them back to the park. That's probably where their hibernaculum is. Right now, we'd better get to that rehearsal. Let's get ready for action. Who dares to disturb Medusa from her lair on such a dark night as this? I think I'd be perfect in this play. Too bad Penelope is doing everything. Margaret! There's no water in my dressing room! What's with the new air conditioning? Do you know where my costume is? And it's got to go perfectly! See how I do in rehearsal, Margaret. When I go on stage, I have to carry the play. I'm sure you'll be great, Penelope. You just have to relax, relax? a bit. Relax? I'd work too hard to just relax and have something go wrong. Oh, is it just me or is it too hot in here? Okay, everyone! Let's start the performance! Curtains! Oh, there's another one. Who 
dares disturb Medusa from whence I have slumbered 10,000 years? <laughs> Zatman, we have to get Princess Giant! Hey, Medusa! <gasps> We have to find out about Medusa's. She was freaky and she seemed powerful. It was like her weird eyes froze Lily. I couldn't move. We better get to my house. I think better when my head is upside down. Must be a vampire thing. Find anything yet? No data on Medusa in the comic books. Not even in the Count Von Creepsilla Treasury Edition. Nothing here either. Uh, no, wait! Uh, here! Medusa is one of the scariest of the ancient Greek mythological monsters. She's the ruler of snakes. Monster? Ruler of snakes? Sounds like a perfect description. That's obviously why all the snakes are coming into town. Medusa had living snakes for hair, and anyone who looked at her was turned to stone. That explains why you got frozen back there. So when Medusa gets on stage, the whole audience could be turned into stone. We have to figure out a way to defeat her. Look, here's a snake charmer. Snake charmers play music to control and charm their snakes. That might just be it. You can play some music on your recorder. So we can distract her. But how are we going to defeat her? Maybe Princess Giant can charm Medusa into a back room at the theater, and then we can lock her in. I'll also bring my Zapparama and... Snakes! <gasps> wow! Where did these snakes come from? Mona! Uh-oh. The snakes must have gotten out of the box. Mona, you can't keep snakes in the house. I'm sorry, Mom. Yuck! They're everywhere! What are you doing, Mom? Snakes move much slower in the cold. So, if we turn up the air conditioner, it will cool the snakes down and make them slow and easy to catch. Then we can put them in the box, and tomorrow you can take them to the park. Hey, guys! That just gave me a great idea. Now we better get snake catching. Things should fit right in, but we're gonna have to find some costumes in order to disguise ourselves to get up on stage. And these vamp classes will help to protect us from Medusa's stare. <laughs> we better get to Medusa and save everyone. And fast! <laughs> okay, Zapman, you know what to do. Right. See you on stage. Let's hope he can find the controls. Mona, here she comes. We're too late. Back for my revenge! More powerful! Let's just cool the snake blood down a little. I will transform everyone into stone! <laughs> You will all feel my wrath! <laughs> Bang! Princess Giant, play your snake charmer music! No! Keep playing! It's reversing her powers! No! Oh, no! Up here, Medusa! Hope you're wearing your long underwear! Take this! You can't stop me! Your snake blood doesn't like the cold. But I am... Medusa! Oh, no! The air conditioning unit controls are stuck on high. And you kids, what are you doing here? Medusa? Well, I mean, Penelope is gonna have my head. On the contrary, this is all my fault. I'm glad the kids were there to put some action on stage. I got stage fright, I forgot my lines. I really shouldn't have tried to produce, direct, and act in this play. You were possessed by Medusa. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. Oh, I simply can't go back out there. I guess we'll have to cancel the play. We need a new Medusa. Margaret knows the lines. Really? <gasps> Margaret, you're now playing the role of Medusa. And let's keep the kids in. That part worked well. Oh, the 
this show is really coming together. Now in the second part of the play, let's all just have fun. We're in the play. Cool. Penelope, can you have the air conditioning turned down? The audience is frozen stiff. Sounds like an after effect of everyone having been turned into stone by Medusa. With the cooler weather, I think these snakes will be happy to stay near their hibernaculum in the park. You know, I've kind of gotten to like them. Hey, look! Penelope has a new play coming. Cyclops the One-Eyed Beast. And we're going to be in the play right from the very beginning. Uh, maybe Mona? we should take up tennis. I'm not sure yeah, that's or good idea. Idea. Looks like you won't be able to fly your new Japanese fighting kite. This is the worst weather we've ever had. It was sunny earlier, and then rainy, and then sunny, and now this again. This is the totally weirdest weather. That's not all that's weird. Look. A UFO! Let's go! There it is! It's gone, but it came this way. That guy. He's Jonathan Jupiter, the TV weatherman. Excuse me, Mr. Jupiter? Oh, hi there, kids. Can we expect good kite flying weather anytime soon? Well, according to my computer analysis, I think we can expect extreme variables. Rain, hail, sunshine, fog, wind storms, and thunder and lightning. Uh, thanks. He seems upset about something. Best weatherman I've ever seen. I've heard he's very accurate. He's right all the time. Oh, there he is now. Great weather report, Mr. Jupiter. Keep up the good work, Jonathan. Thanks. I try to do my best. He doesn't seem very happy, does he? Nope. It may be he feels responsible for giving us all that bad weather lately. <laughs> <laughs> A weatherman who's right all the time? And then we see him in the park near a UFO sighting. It all seems a little suspicious. This is really strange. The other weathermen have a success rate of 13.4. But Jonathan Jupiter has an astounding 99.9% .9 success rate. Hmm, it's strange that he can be that good. Maybe that UFO is helping him somehow. Look at this. The search engine has another hit on Jupiter. The largest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. A visitor to Jupiter would find the weather extremely variable, with whirling hot and cold gases. That weather sure sounds familiar. I'll say. This Jonathan Jupiter could be an alien from planet Jupiter. Maybe with his laptop computer, he's telling the UFO what weather to make. We're gonna have to put him under round-the-clock surveillance. Snow? The weirdest weather has just gotten weirder. UFO! Right there! More strange weather. Get out your aerial precipitation deflectors. I could have guessed he would be here. <laughs> Madeline! Uh, it's me, Jonathan Jupiter. We met last week. Oh, hello, Jonathan. <laughs> Good weather report today. <laughs> I do my best. I've just been out checking on my experimental weather balloon. My new computer program analyzes all the data. Uh, can I join you on your stroll? Certainly. Weather balloon? Nice cover story. But that was a UFO! And now it's sunny. Thank you, Jonathan, for a lovely lunch. Oh, you're very welcome. And, uh, well, would you like to go to the opera with me tonight? Oh, I can't tonight. I'm busy, but maybe some other time. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh-oh. Unwieldy elements! Tear this planet asunder! You kids have to be careful! I forecasted strong winds! Thanks, Mr. Thanks, Jupiter! Thanks, Mr. Jupiter! Yeah. 
Just be careful. He's causing the bad weather. And then he helped us like nothing even happened. Look at this! It even looks a bit like him. The Romans' god of weather was Jupiter, the most powerful deity in ancient Rome. But is this guy an alien from Jupiter or a Roman god? He's both. I have something in my rare ancient manuscript library. Chariots of the Aliens says all the ancient gods were from outer space, that they even made the pyramids. is an alien, a Roman god alien, who can control the weather. We've got to figure out a way to stop him and this crazy weather. We can't lose sight of him. She loves me? She loves me not. She loves me? Hey, she loves look me who's not. coming. She loves me. Hello, Madeline. Oh, hello, Jonathan. <laughs> uh, mind if I tag along with you on your stroll? Sure, but I'm just walking to the store. Zatman, Princess Giant, look! Are you free for dinner tonight? Oh, I'm sorry, Jonathan, but maybe I'll see you again on my walk tomorrow? Um, yeah, sure. She loves me not. Aerial precipitation deflectors. I will blow all asunder with my powers over the elements. Yeah! <laughs> when he gets upset, he gets upset. And it seems like Jonathan doesn't even know he's Jupiter. Watch out for hurricane force winds along with the same variable weather. The cold high front and the warm low front will meet here in our town where the battle will rage with its greatest fury. And I must also tell everyone that this is my last day on the air. <laughs> Thanks for all your support. Sounds like he's going to be leaving our planet, which is probably good. But will he leave us with this horrible weather forever? We have to stop him from leaving. We don't even know how he's leaving. The UFO. That's right. Have you noticed that each time he saw Miss Gatto, the weather became nice? And the last time, there was even a rainbow. We'll have to write Miss Gatto a letter from a friend. And if she shows up, she can distract him while we take on the UFO. And how are we going to take on a UFO? Dear Miss Gatto, someone who likes you very much is leaving town this afternoon. Thought you would want to know. Sincerely, your friends. Oh. <laughs> oh! There it is! After it! It's coming for him! Come, my space-faring chariot! Take me away from this doomed planet! And you, you mortals, stay out of my way! Now what will I do? 
I'll unleash a hurricane so powerful it will turn this whole world upside down! Fury, Jupiter! Your UFO is gone! There's no point getting upset! I do what I feel! But you're also Jonathan! He's part of you, and he doesn't need you angry! He needs you to help him be happier! That's the only way things will get better for you both! Jonathan? Yes, I am Jonathan. And all Jonathan wants is someone he could be together with. Someone like... Miss Gatto! Jonathan, you can't be serious about leaving. We haven't gone on our date yet. But I thought you were just saying that you were busy because you didn't want to go out with me. Goodness, no. I really have been busy, and I'd love to go on a date. <laughs> Do you think he'll stop making hurricane winds now? I think so. Now that his UFO is gone, he's stuck here, and he can't make doomsday winds for the town if he's living here. Besides, he looks so happy. Jonathan, I'm very happy that you've decided to keep your job and stay in town. I'm happy you're going out with me again tonight. I'm also glad that I don't have to monitor my experimental weather balloon anymore. I'm just happy they're together. Looks like we'll be having nice weather for a long time. Woo! Wow! And Fang's happy too.